Hey folks, SMK Gaming here with my final aim assist video in the series. If you're one of those players that feels that the sticky, tracky aim assist never works for you, or maybe you feel it only works some of the time, well today's video is going to be of interest to you, because I'm going to show you how to get tracking all the time. Every single time you will get it. But first I want to clear up something. Two possible reasons why you may be feeling tracking doesn't work for you. Here's the first. Take a look at this clip from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Can... I'm John. They smoked mid. I'm looking at our mid push up. They might be hitting the big B hit cut on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a shot. Dead. I'm done. I'm done. Get you. I'm here. I'm here. I get three. This guy is. I've been. I'm holding pinch. I'm holding pinch. I'm holding pinch. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Go and see. As the clip plays over and over again in the background, I want to inform you of something. See this tracking you see here? You will never, ever. Get tracking like this in Battlefield 2042. And if this is the level of tracking you expect, well, no wonder you feel you get nothing in 2042. This level of tracking is insanely strong. So strong I feel it affects players' perception of what tracking should be. Let me explain more on this. As you play Call of Duty, you subconsciously begin to learn that as the tracking aim assist kicks in, you no longer need to touch your right thumbstick. That's right, folks. The stick that you use to aim with is no longer needed for aiming when that tracking kicks in. A scene, isn't it? Moving your right stick could actually throw your aim off target. That is how strong the tracking aim assist is in Call of Duty. Over time, this repetitive action becomes a learned behaviour. Your brain remembers what you did previously in a shooter game. So what happens when you play other shooters like Battlefield 2042 and want to track a target? You end up not putting enough input into the right stick as you expect tracking to kick in and do it for you. This isn't done with conscious thought, it's done without thinking. That's what a learned behaviour is. What are the consequences of this now learned behaviour from Call of Duty when you play other shooter games that don't have the same strength of aim assist? Well, it doesn't work as you expected it to, does it? Your aim is all over the place. You then have to unlearn that learned behaviour, which can be even more difficult to do. But to even do that in the first place, you have to be aware that you're actually doing it, which most players aren't. Players will then instead look to other reasons for why things are not working for them. That's why I believe many players, especially those used to Call of Duty, think tracking doesn't work in Battlefield 2042. Well, you're half right. Wrong in that it doesn't work, but right that it doesn't work like Call of Duty. Now there is one thing that players must do in Call of Duty to get this type of tracking, and it is also the same in Battlefield 2042 and almost all other shooters, and that is what you must do with the left thumbstick, the stick used for player movement. This could potentially be the second reason for why you feel aim assist hasn't been working for you or that sticking track aim assist hasn't been working for you. This is more applicable to the players that are not used to Call of Duty. Here are two clips running side by side. In one I have tracking and in another I do not. Can you tell which one I'm getting it in? It is not easy to tell but it's the bottom one and here is the reason why. As I am up against the window on both clips, in one I am pushing my left thumbstick slightly forward. I'm putting input into it. Usually to get the tracking effect in any shooter, you must be putting input into the left stick. As I went back to hip fire there, you can more easily tell that I was pushing myself against the window. In one instance, but not the other. I am also doing this when I'm aiming down sight. Back to the Call of Duty clip. Here it appears he is not moving, but he is actually pushing his left stick forward and pushing himself against the steps. That's why when the players appear, they are instantly tracked. Back to 2042, if you are a player standing still and trying to follow a target, you get no tracking. If you are a sniper standing by a window and trying to follow a player, no tracking. If you are peeking over a ledge and a player jumps out, guess what? No tracking. In all three scenarios, you could have it though. In the first situation, you will want to strafe a bit or move forward or to the side. Not only does that make you a harder target to hit, but it also gives you that tracking aim assist. In the sniper instance, push yourself against the window ledge or back against the back wall if you want to be more hidden. In the final example, just take the Call of Duty clip, push yourself up against the wall in front. In all three combat situations, you will then have that tracking sticky effect every time. In my previous videos where I was showcasing the tracking in action along with the effects of slowdown, I was pushing myself back against something whereby putting input into the stick to get the tracking. It may not have appeared that I was standing still, well, I was, but I was putting input into the left stick 
and that is key to getting it. Your player doesn't necessarily need to be physically moving, as long as that left thumbstick has input into it. The final thing I will say on this folks is, whilst I've been talking about moving your left stick here and it being needed, you must do this to even get tracking in the first instance. Unlike Call of Duty and Battlefield 2042, you still need to be moving the right stick to aim with it as well to continue to get that tracking. In Call of Duty, it will track on its own a lot of the time. Battlefield 2042, not a chance of that happening folks. You still need to be aiming to benefit from tracking also. So that's it folks, a bit of a short run. I just wanted to highlight and showcase how you can get this tracking sticky effect in Battlefield 2042. It will never be like Call of Duty. It's way out there on its own folks. If you're expecting that, you won't get it in 2042. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, take care all, and I'll catch you again in the next one.